Namaste, good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com. It's a little windy out here right now. We are looking live at Siesta Key Beach. Quick good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Namaste to Deanna Buckley and Mike. Good evening. So as you can tell, the beach is picking up here. We're seeing more and more people here. The watercolor looks great. It's windy out today, but air temperature is fantastic. It's probably 80 out. So the breeze is welcome. Right now you're looking at the main beach here on Siesta Key. And up there they have the drum circles. Up there at the Green Lifeguard House is my buddy Scooter. If you're not familiar with Scooter, he does a beach report every day. Let's go take a walk up there. So yeah, his uh, Facebook page is called Scooter of the Beach. So if you're looking for a beach report, This is, this is the guy to go to, 69 degrees water temperature. Say hello to everybody on Facebook, Scooter. What's up, my brothers and sisters? Get your gear and get on down here. I'll see you at the beach. <laughs> right on. Definitely come on down here. This is the place to go right here, too. Green Lifeguard House, Scooter. Awesome dude. So yeah, you can check out his Facebook reports every day. Sometimes he does them twice a day. watercolor so much better the air temperature says it's about 79 water temperature according to scooters chalkboard says 69 but if you check out the water temperature on this one web website moat uh, in the later afternoon, around 4 o'clock, they record the beach towers, report the water temperature when they come on at 10 o'clock. But by 4 o'clock, I've seen it up to 73 degrees for the water temperature. So it is warming up. The days are getting longer by two minutes each day a minute in the morning and a minute at night in the evening. I just want to talk to you guys a little about the energies that are going on once again. Now many of you have seen that Schumann Resonance whiteout that we had a few days ago. And that was pretty impressive. 24 hours of Schumann whiteout. But there's something else going, that, going on right now. I only told one other person about this. And it was about two weeks ago that I had this vision of the sun shooting concentric rings of energy toward the planet. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that are still feeling, it's almost like Schumann Residence hangover, but it's not. It's much more than that. There's something else that's going on. Some kind of energy that's coming in. Whether that be from the sun, or the central sun, Alcyon, or from the galactic center, something else is going on. Myself, I cannot sleep at night. I'm having the hardest time falling asleep. And when I do, even in the daytime, as a matter of fact, earlier today, I, I lay down at 12 o'clock, just to take a nap. Ran a bunch of errands today and got a lot of stuff done. But I laid down to take a nap. I woke up 20 
minutes later. It felt like I slept for eight hours. So I apologize for the wind. You guys probably can't hear me very well. that way but, but I'm walking this way so <laughs> it's gonna have to be so I'm gonna check out the comments Yes, it is busy today. Uh, we are officially in season right now, Debbie. Oh my gosh, five inches of snow for Carrie. I'm sorry, unless that's what you want, then I'm happy for you. <laughs> Jen is saying way too many people. Well, you know what, this is what I do though. Um, when I do my love bubble meditation, I send out loving, healing energy from my heart center along with my entire posse. And we spread it out as far as we can throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. But they're basically all getting a direct download. So there are a lot of people and I'm an introvert, but this is energy work that anyone can do at any time. So Debbie's saying she can't sleep, only short naps. Yep. Me too. <laughs> yes, that was an efficient nap, Natasha. Power nap. Karen's asking, how's the smell? There is no smell. The beach is cleared up, there's no red tide. People are actually swimming. Water's warming up. Uh, and I think they came by and picked up all the seaweed that we had the other day. Elsie is saying she doesn't sleep deeply anymore like she used to. Could not sleep at all in the daytime. Try to take a nap. Yeah. Well, it's funny. I, I used to sleep like a rock until my daughter was born. And then uh, as soon as she was born, as soon as she would just like go, eh, <laughs> or, or anything, any sound that she'd make while she, while she was sleeping, I would wake up instantly. She's 24 years old. Turns 25 this year. And uh, 25 years later, I'm still having a hard time sleeping. <laughs> but it's even worse now with these energy waves coming in. And as I mentioned, there's something more going on other than the Schumann Resonance. Magus is saying, I'm getting a lot of lucid dreams and visions and UFO sightings. Very nice. Ice storm in Chicago. Come on. So, you know, all over the United States, there's a lot of nasty weather going on. A lot of rain coming in from the Pacific coast, dragging up through Texas, all up the Atlantic seaboard, kind of bypassing us. Those clouds are further south from us. Now we're looking east, and that's north. Just another beautiful day on Siesta Key.
today's high pitch frequency is in the key of D, which is the crown chakra. So if anyone is having tingling sensations in the crown chakra area, now you know why. Also, if you're having any kind of headaches or sinus issues, migraines, that might be caused from it. represented by this high-pitched frequency is Jupiter. Second. And so far, I'm um, well, down to 202 right now. I was 224, so I've lost 22 pounds since January 22nd. So, about a month, 22 pounds. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm trying to get rid of this right here. It's going away. The love handles. But slowly it's going away. My original goal was 199, 25 pounds. So I'm only three pounds away from that. And I'll probably readjust that to 189 once I hit that. And I expect to hit that in the next week, maybe. Week and a half. But basically all I'm doing is a protein diet. No bread, no sugar but just once in a while going off the diet every one, maybe one day every two weeks and just eating whatever the heck I want and living life. And that's okay, I recommend that anyone that's on a diet do that unless you have certain diet, dietary restrictions that you're not allowed to. But yeah, I mean, if you're on a diet and you're craving pasta or you know, Italian bread, pierogies, <laughs> something that is not on your diet. I say, you know, for one meal every two weeks, not necessarily the whole day, but for one meal, do it. Enjoy life. Enjoy that meal. And don't worry about what the scale says the next day, you will lose it. What I'm taking right now the supplements. I take three capsules of Garcinia Cambogia twice a day. Two capsules of apple cider vinegar twice a day. I'm also taking magnesium once a day. Uh, zinc once a day. Turmeric one capsule twice a day. Oh, I see Rosie Neal's calling right now. Hey Rosie, I'm online. If you're, if you're watching me online, I'll, I'll give you a call. I can't obviously answer right now. But those are basically the supplements I'm taking. And as I mentioned, I'm not eating any bread, no sugar. It's a really simple diet. I was just reading an article and I meant to post it on my personal Facebook page about a person who had Alzheimer's. And she's regaining her memory now because all she did was change her diet. So, if I can find that article, I'll post it. It's huge what you put into your body 
and how healthy or unhealthy it makes us. You know, in, in my situation, I've got the, the belly going on. And, you know, there's still, I gotta lose more there. But most of us, especially men, that's where we carry the weight, is in our tummies. And a lot of that is from gluten, wheat, or beer. Same thing. You know, the hops from beer, I guess, would do the same thing as bread. But we get that beer belly, or that gluten belly, the Buddha belly. I find it interesting that in Italy, they don't have that issue. But in Italy, they don't use GMOs. All the good day ladles. Their wheat is organic. So if you're going to eat wheat, I would imagine it's okay to eat organic wheat, but on my particular diet, I'm staying away from all wheat. Quick shout out to everyone that's joining me here. Um, just picking up somewhere in the middle here, Brenda. Tammy, Rhonda, Maureen, Ashley, Aaron, Maria. I'm gonna say good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you always lose more weight in the beginning, you know, and especially once there's less and less fat to burn, it's harder to lose the weight. I think this month I've lost, in the 20 days this month, like maybe seven pounds or eight, eight pounds of the 22 that I've lost overall. Maybe I'll find Mrs. Wright. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sure she's out there somewhere. Aw. Thank you, Kelly. It says, looking lovely and healthy, my friend. I appreciate that. Debbie says, having an orange right now. An orange beer? Because <laughs> afterwards she says beer. Yeah, that's one thing I miss, it's fruit. Can't have fruit on my diet. I'm gonna say Jan, Kirk, Bethany, Paula, Carol. Kelly says, using MTC oil for mom who has Alzheimer's with great results, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Stacy LeClaire, best dentist in Florida, has joined us. Kendra is saying, I'll be there Friday night. Awesome. Be sure to check out the drum circle on Sunday. And you know what, the diet change is just a life choice. Everyone's perfect and beautiful exactly the way they are. You know, you, you don't have to do a diet if you're not feeling it. You know, some of the women I admire the most on the beach are the larger ladies that are out there wearing a bikini and saying, screw all y'all, I don't care. This is me, love me or hate me. They have that confidence to go out there and that love of themselves. 
to go out there and say, this is me. And I'm comfortable in the meat suit that I'm in because that's all it is, it's a meat suit. Now, I'm choosing this for health reasons. Yeah, it's nice to get rid of the, the tummy, but I'm also doing uh, other things too. I'm working out three times a week. Yeah, I'm going for these walks every, every day, sometimes twice a day. And uh, I'm doing a lot of work while I'm doing this. Of course, I do my walk of gratitude while I do this. I do the love bubble meditation, but I'm also working on myself as well. As I've mentioned many, many times, one of the most important things that we can do right now is ground, especially with all the turmoil that's going on around the world. It's a lot of crap that's going down and a lot of people are cracking up and I guarantee they all have one thing in common, they're not grounding. So no matter if it's snowing where you are in Chicago or raining in Virginia, get out there and ground. A little sand castle going on over there. So all up and down Midnight Pass Road, you have all these condos that are right on the beach. And it goes all the way down there, and at the end, there's a seawall. And right around the seawall are the best shells on Siesta Key Beach, but right before the seawall is where they shoot that reality show, Siesta Key. Debbie's asking, what's a good motel to stay at in my area? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Uh, especially this time of the year. It's, it's really expensive. We're in season right now. And uh, they jack the prices up in season. It's not going to be cheap. So I, I honestly don't know. It's, it's not going to be cheap though. That, that's the only thing I can tell you. Uh, something here on the beach is probably going to be really expensive. I'm very, very fortunate where I live. I got a really, 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 really good deal from a couple that bought the house here on Siesta Key back in, gosh, 1960-something. And uh, now they live in a mansion down towards Turtle Beach, and they're giving me a really good deal, and I'm so grateful. But today's plan is Got more work to do later on, but I'm gonna go play some guitar on the beach. Enjoy the 
sunshine and the water. And do a little bit more grounding. So if you ever see me stop like this, you'll see my shadow down there. I'm looking at the screen because it's basically the only way I can see the screen. So I'm not showing you any other amazing sights on the beach. Uh, my pleasure, uh, Jet Sand. You're an inspiration for, to many. Thank you for supporting the larger ladies. We are all beautiful. That's the truth. Absolutely. I agree, agree with you 100%. To my friend Paige. Hi, Paigey. For those just tuning in, you're looking live at Siesta Key Beach. Water looks great. Water color is great. Got some wind blowing. Air temperature is about 80, 81. Water temperature at 10 o'clock was 69, but when I'm walking in the water, it feels warmer than that. I would say probably about 72 right now. So it's warming up every day. Every day the days are getting a little bit longer. Hiya, Bella. The beach is amazing, Bella. And tell Brittany I need some kind of confirmation on when she would like to come. I would love to have her down here. Probably gonna leave it off at that right now. Um, enjoy these energy waves that are coming in. Um, as I mentioned, I had a vision where there's concentric rings coming from the sun onto the planet right now, uh, and they're just coming, and they're just bam, bam, bam. Something more is going on other than the Schumann resonance. Other other people have noticed this as well. So pay attention to what's going on around you. Because we're in the midst of something that is huge. So, as I mentioned, I'll probably leave it off at that. I'll give you guys um, maybe maybe a minute or two after I sign off to enjoy the beach with me. But until the next time, this is Greg from In5D.com and Zentasia.com. Sending you all infinite love and light. Peace.